So we finally got a semi-sequel to Love, Simon, and my little queer heart could not be happier. Hi guys, my name is Maria Park and this is Approach to Nerd and in this episode we are reviewing the Hulu original series Love, Victor. Love, Victor is set two years after Love, Simon um, and actually there is a strong connection between Simon and the lead character Victor Salazar in this series. The series is very short, they're 30 minute episodes each. Um, they literally play and flow beautifully. There's no, there's not really a time in any of these episodes that you will be bored. There are slight spoilers in this, but not enough for you not to watch the series. So you don't have to tune out if you don't want to, but um, if you do, please come back and watch this review later. <laughs> um, so basically Victor has moved with his family from Texas to Georgia, where they're now living in um, Atlanta. And he's attending so uh, Simon from Love Simon's alma mater. And that's Creekwood High. The first thing we see when he gets to school, which is hilarious for me, is that Miss Albright, who was a drama teacher in Love, Simon, has been promoted to vice principal over a monkey attack, a rabid monkey attack on the former vice principal. And that is the funniest way to get promoted. It's absolutely hilarious, actually. The comedy in this is really funny. It does kind of take away a little bit from all the serious stuff that's going on, but it makes it a little lighthearted, even though it's dealing, the show deals with real relatable issues. Um, so Victor is the character that is struggling with his sexuality. He doesn't know what he is. He doesn't know if he's straight, if he's gay, if he's bisexual or pansexual. He doesn't know. And I love that because in the original story of Love, Simon, Simon knew he was gay off the bat. I mean, he knew what he was. He just had to find a way to come out and tell people. Victor can't even tell anyone because he doesn't know himself. And I thought that was really interesting. And I love how they played that off with the characters of Mia and Benji. Mia being the first girl that he meets at school that he has a connection with, but more like, it's almost like a passing flirty friendship. And then Benji, the one that he sees that kind of gives him the whole slow motion emoji hearts everywhere type of of reaction, which kind of gave me like a little hint that maybe he kind of swing more to the gay side. But again, being a pansexual, that really doesn't mean anything. Something else that I really enjoyed about this series is that Victor is not only Hispanic, so a person of color, but that his family has real issues like money issues. His parents fight all of the time. Um, there's a lot of, of issues regarding, um, them being conservative and being very religious in terms of how they will react to him being potentially, you know, homosexual. So yeah, I, I really like that a little bit more because in Love, Simon, he only really dealt with the aspect of how everybody was going to deal with him being gay. It was never, how do I also appease a family that considers me to be the strongest one in my family and the perfect one and the one who everyone can lean on? You know, there's a lot of pressure put on him, especially by his mother in Love, Victor. So I did like that. I also like that we got to have um, Kaylin Lonsdale, who played um, Kid Flashback, who also played Brom, Simon's love interest in Love, Simon. His guest star appearance basically tells us what happened with Simon, um, since this show is basically two years after Love, Simon, um, what actually became of the relationship. And I, I really love that episode a lot. It's probably my favorite episode. I will not tell you which one it is, because you'll just have to watch it. But it was very cool to have that closure. Um, I also really dig the fact that they are dealing with real life issues outside of just trying to find out your sexuality because life does go on, even if you're a queer, <laughs> you know? So, um, we had a character whose mother is severely depressed. We had another character whose mother basically abandoned them and whose father is a helicopter pilot. We have, um, a character who basically is suffering from severe severe issues of trying to be perfect for an overbearing and demanding parent. Um, and then there's the stuff that's going on in the school, like popularity, not having money when everybody in the school has money, um, actually wanting to be in a relationship with someone, but they're less popular than you. So being embarrassed by it. There's so many tropes in this that I thought were really, really written, well written and really well acted by these actors. So I, I was really engaged the entire time. And I will say that everything that happens actually um, does not get resolved in season one. So if we don't get a season two, I will be very unhappy. But I want to know what you guys think. So please leave me a comment below and let me know. And if you would like to sign up for Jury Duty, hit the subscribe button. If you'd like to know who's next in the nerd bell, hit the notification bell. Until next time, I can't wait for you to approach the nerd.
Bye, guys. Thank you for watching my video. I really appreciate it, but hey, the party doesn't have to stop now. Click on one of these videos and keep it going.